Hello guys and welcome to Trace Entertainment. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss none of the videos that I post. In today's video, Kevin O'Leary goes on CNN and he has a discussion basically explaining Trump plans with tariffs. Check this video out. I don't really understand why he keeps going back to this well of, of more and more and more tariffs. Let me explain why. Let's take China. Uh, let's take an example that every American understands, TikTok. Everybody knows TikTok. Uh, American people made, people made a decision in Congress to ban it on midnight, Jan 19th. The Supreme Leader of China said, no, we're going to use your court systems to litigate the American people so that doesn't happen. I can't do that in China. The Supreme Leader would never let me do that. I can't protect my IP there. Mm. Chinese have been screwing my 45 businesses for 35 years. I like the idea of going to war with China with tariffs to change behavior. But they, it didn't change behavior. All it did because was hurt American we've had companies. Weak leadership that doesn't mm. know how to implement. This is the same leadership. It was no, no. Trump who, who no, no, launched the with trade Biden, war with. Then it was Clinton saying, "Let's democratize China. Let's show them democracy, and they'll play for." I can just feel the TDS arising and it's about to explode because she didn't even give him time to finish. And then when he said something about leadership, you can just tell that she did not want to hear that. I have a feeling, I have a big feeling that something is about to come up and they're basically going to say because of Trump. I'm telling you guys. But, but, to, no, but to Catherine's no. point, it's she's time saying, to raise tariffs in China to four hundred percent. Hang on a second. Trump already raised tariffs on China. Not there, enough. Not there enough. There have been many studies okay. showing Supreme, that U.S. companies and consumers you know, are the ones who the bore the cost. I academic study. I'm doing okay, real okay. business in China. I'm actually okay. doing business. There. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually working American there. companies. There's no academics in my country. Where companies. do you think they buy their inputs from? Uh, let me explain something to you. From China. The Chinese it steal my American IP. They make the same product with the molds that I pay for there. Okay. They ship them into this country under a different brand. I don't like it anymore, and I've been trying to solve this if for 30 years. If you tear up years. everything from China at There's no 60%. academic in my world. I'm an, I'm a, I'm You're going to be paying more for the stuff you buy. You're going to be paying more for the stuff you buy. They knew even in the... Let her finish? He didn't even finish what he was trying to say. And then he's talking about he is doing real business. I understand that she can say, oh, but this is saying this, this is saying this. He is doing actual business. He is real life experiencing things that are going on. 1600s no, that you should I'm not right. tear off the input. Kevin, let's let's just, let's just, let's let's just, let's just, just take a, a yoga every mat. Every American. Kevin, so the just 400% let her finish. tariff on a yoga mat will make it Vietnam or make it India or make it America. We won't buy anything for China. And the it Supreme will still be will more come, expensive. He'll come it to will New York. be more expensive. No, 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 no. Absolutely it will be. We won't be. buy it from there. Wait, what do you mean we won't also, buy it from on, there? Hold on, hold on one second. Because I, I, I get the Why are you raising forth, the price? But, but Kevin, you're having a different... This is always what happens when we talk about Trump and the economy. Mm -hmm. People come Nothing on here... Trump. Hang on, hang mm. on. No, 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 just, just hang mm. on. People come on the show, and then they defend a different economic policy than, than the one that Trump is advocating. He says in the clip, what am I going to do? Negotiate with China or Mexico? He doesn't want to negotiate. He says, you're not going to get anything from them. Okay, that's what he says. He does not want to negotiate. Also, the question I asked you is, where is the rest of the plan? Where is the rest of the economic plan? Well, why don't you what? just look at his track record for the last, you know, the term that he had, no inflation, fantastic wage growth. I mean, look, the, he actually sat in the seat at the You've White House. You may not like what you he know, did. President you may not like Trump him, was president in 2020. But I don't remember. She can, her TDS is just so bad, but she has to understand Look at what people are saying right now with this economy. We need to strengthen the economy. We need to get the economy back to where it used to be. Look at life now and compare it to how life used to have been. Most people would say they were able to save more money in their pockets back then than they are now. Inflation right now is ridiculous. The price that we are paying for things is just outrageous. Like, especially interest rates, groceries, fuel prices, Rent, mortgage, 
Just everything is just so expensive right now. Times are very tough right now, and it's hard for most people to make ends meet. I'm tired of struggling, enough is enough. We gotta put more money back in our pockets so we can support ourselves and our families and the people around us. 9% inflation when he was- I, I remember 18% unemployment. I mean, I remember- What happened when that was going on? Oh, that a period? pandemic that he bungled. So you're, are you saying he created the virus? No, but he absolutely made it worse. How? By lying you're, about you're, the risk, by telling people not to get tested, don't saying, get tested. You're saying he should have personally cured the virus as no, the No, I'm saying he, he should have given that. his she tests did. to Americans Literally, rather she, than she to She did food. not say that. I mean, but, but, okay. I mean, I mean right. I'm, so I'm sorry. This, this yeah. idea, this idea that somehow because Trump was the president, that the virus has political proclivities and decided to prolong itself has been crazy. No, no, no. Let's just you say don't no. think leadership Let's mattered at all during that? No, I don't actually. You don't? I don't believe the virus. You don't think it matters? You don't think it matters? that Trump withheld various kinds of testing kits and PPE from states that were asking for it, and then he told them to go buy it themselves. So and then he, you think he, that was the mask? Is that what you think? And then he outbid them <laughs> for on. it, so they Is couldn't buy it. And then the he sent it to no. Putin. No. I was talking about virus. I, I do want to get back to the... <laughs> I mean, you are implicitly by, by pretending it's in Scott, <laughs> Republicans yeah. keep saying that this election is about the economy. Now, I guess it's maybe also about immigration, but it yeah. is about the economy when you ask voters. And, and again, like, I'm wondering... What else is Trump planning on doing, and can he articulate well, it? Well, to me, to me, I think it's a great question, and it needs to be fleshed out. I think we should probably play the clip, though, of Harris from the Chicago Economic Club or the... Oh, do we not have it? Because she didn't show up to talk. So here, here's Ooh. what I think. He's going to extend the tax. <laughs> Scott, that was the best response I think I've ever heard. He literally just laid it all out i they there is no way that they can have a response that beat what he just said but they keep talking about the economy and trump not having a plan or whatnot look at how life is now right and ask anyone anyone that you know would they rather now or back then majority of people will say Back then, it was a lot more easier than it is now. Because right now, times are tough. Now, I mean, if you got millions and millions, this doesn't really affect you as much. For the average individual, times are really tough and it's hard to make ends meet. He's gonna rein in the federal government and the overburdensome regulatory state, which he can now do because of the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna take on these countries that screw American workers. That's the plan. And oh, no, by the way, he's gonna, the he's going to he's going to he's going to crack down. He's going to crack down on immigration to the benefit of American he's workers. Gonna deport, he's going to deport. He's going to deport twenty million people. The people. Can she just please let him finish? Like, just let him finish what he is saying. Because he was asked a question. He is responding. Can you please let him finish responding so you can get a better understanding of what he is saying and what Trump plans are. It's simple. Just hear them. Use your ears and just listen. People who pick your crops, the pe people who process your meat, the people who, you know, uh, care for your grandmother, the people who serve all sorts of critical functions in this country. Yeah, he's going to deport a lot of people and that's going to worsen the economy. In fact, there have been, I don't know, like a dozen different independent economic analyses from, again, independent economic analyses from Goldman Sachs, AEI, Brookings, okay. Nomera, uh, Peterson Institute, Look, like all I mean, of them I know find- your argument. If you want to run on more illegal immigration as a Democrat, go ahead. I just don't think it's going want, to work in the election. He wants to deport 20, I'm, I'm not done with his, I know what his economic policy is because he has talked about it. He doesn't understand how any of it would work, but he has talked about it. He wants 10% global tariffs, which would worsen inflation. Mm -hmm. He wants to deport 20 million people which would worsen inflation and reduce growth. He wants to politicize the Federal Reserve, which would worsen inflation. He wants to devalue the dollar, which would worsen inflation. After all, that, all of these half things. The American population wants that economy back. What do you say to that? I say to them. Very good. You're talking about messaging. No, it's not. A lot of people don't understand, Kevin, what what tariffs are. They see it as this this great punishment to China that we're going to do, he says he's going to raise it up. He said today 2,000% uh, tariffs on China. But here's the thing. It punishes the American importer. 
The Chinese are paid. Once, once you pay for those moles, the Chinese have put that money in their pocket, and then you are charged for the tariffs no, when you're bringing your moles in. Let's so, and then, uh, hold on, uh, just one other point that he said. Moving back to America. Did. But one other point, they, they did one not. other point, they did not one other point that. is he <laughs> says that that's going to incentivize people to come back. That's pie in the sky. If I give 2,000 percent tariffs, uh, on China, it's going to force all these people to come back. No, I'm for American jobs. You know what? And, you know that's, what, and that's, you know why what support, that's why I support. That's why I support Kamala Harris, and and I supported President. You know what jobs Biden Americans work in? They they brought manufacturing back when President Trump didn't. The tariffs that he's talking about is not going to incentivize anybody else to go. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to want to pay those tariffs, so I'm going to build this plant here in I America. I agree with it's you not on because with their European allies but yeah. not with china because unfortunately i live in the real world and not all of you are doing business china like i am mm. they cheat they steal they don't play by the well, level I, I don't think they are, are, are you going to invest in a business, I, but yet you're doing business there. they are just literally attacking him because he's actually doing business and he's explaining to them what his thoughts are they are literally just going back to back with this and that and this and that. But I love how he said, ask the people. Because the people have decided. Majority of people have decided. And they've looked at how their lives are now versus how their lives used to be. It's tough for a lot of people. They are trying their best to make ends meet. This is a very tough time. We got to get back to the way we used to be. We got a couple weeks, couple days. We need some big change so we can make it easier for everyone to live. That's what we need. Let me know what you guys think about today's video in the comment section. That'll be a wrap for today's video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.